Hello everybody, this is Pete Drexler, man. It is 11.49 in the a.m. on Saturday, June 10th, and I am going to talk to you a little bit about Christmas. It's 198 days away, so I figured, hey, what the... <laughs> Oops. Um, it is, as I said, 198 days away. This week... Um, Walt Disney World and other Disney parks across the world, around the world, are going to have what is called the halfway to Christmas um, celebration. Um, it is not a party or anything. It's just a time when Disney is going to start making announcements for November through December um, into the New Year um, events coming up. Uh, the Halloween one was uh, done about a month ago. They they did the halfway to Halloween, uh, announced the uh, selling for uh, of um, tickets to um, the Not So Scary, plus the Oogie Boogie Bash in Disneyland. Um, and we um, are now in the process of thinking about, okay, what about Christmas? And we are not even at 4th of July yet. However, um, the, the some people always ask me, and I've been there during this time. I've never gone to any of the other uh, to any of the parties. Um, uh, we are we, we're officially going to the Halloween party. We have had we purchased our tickets for sometime in September. Um, the Halloween party runs from mid-August to this year, November 1st. The last Halloween party will be on November 1st. And soon after the guests leave on November 1st, the last guest, uh, somebody will announce it to all these people who are getting ready to take down the decorations for Halloween and put up the decorations for um Christmas uh, at the Magic Kingdom, and it's done pretty much overnight. Um, it, there might be a few other things they do the next night after the guests leave, but it's not too much. Uh, I don't know if they put up the tree right away or that's the last thing they do, the big tree, and um, as you come into the park, um, but they want it ready for the guests that next day. They don't no remnants of Halloween. <laughs> they just go right into Christmas, which is, which is okay by me. Um, as I said, I've already know that it's 198 days. I didn't have to look it up. I just knew it. I'm, I'm just that kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy who, uh, sends out the Christmas countdown starting March 1st, which is by the way, 300 days away. So with that said, um, you start, they, you can guess that if they have somebody who can do, I mean, have a group that can decorate that quickly, they must be thinking about this year round, which of course they do. Um, uh, so, excuse me. Magic Kingdom isn't the only park. You have, of course, Hollywood Studios. Uh, Epcot and Animal Kingdom, and each of them do Christmas in their own way. Um, Hollywood Studios, decoration-wise, is one of my favorites to go to. Um, um, Epcot has the Festival of the Holidays, which is the uh, one of the four major festivals in, um, you know, the Flower and Garden. Uh, um, Food and Wine, Festival of the Holidays, and the Festival of the Arts, um, and then, and then in between those times, you have like a couple weeks before between it, or a week between them, uh, so they can change them over. Um, however, um, with with the Festival of the Holidays, you have um, storytellers from around. Uh, the World Showcase, uh, telling about their Christmas or the holidays in their 
in their country or their part of the world. Um, Father Christmas, Pierre Noel, um, and and others who, again, uh, do some. Uh, relaying of the traditions and the the fun that they have at this time of the year. Um, but I guess the big one that everybody thinks of is the 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 parties. Now I can't be a first hand experience of that yet. Um, as I said, this year we're going to the Halloween party for the very first time, um, and we might be. Well, probably are going to do the how, the Christmas party also, um, at least at, at once. Um, and uh, so I'll be then able to tell you a little bit more firsthand. Um, from everything I had, uh, both of them have special parades, special stage shows, special fireworks that go on during those times. And then you have these ride overlays sometimes. Um, I want to say, I know in um, Disneyland they have a, uh, the Haunted Mansion turns into a um, Nightmare Before Elm Street type thing. They have an overlay there. You have an overlay in, I want to say, in Space Mountain. Um, one of the coolest things is that they don't, they do it for all guests, not just for the people at the party. Um, the Jungle Cruise becomes the Jingle Cruise, um, and they do that fairly early um, into the, even before the first um Christmas party starts. Um, but the other... Um, the other things that keep in mind during this time is are the resorts. Um, it's a great time to go resort hopping. Um, the Grand Floridian has a full-sized uh, gingerbread house where they sell gingerbread out of um, homemade gingerbread people actually bake it and put it in the, the house is made of it um i wouldn't eat it uh what they do with it I, I i just found this out what they do with it is at the end all the leftover gingerbread that of the house and stuff is is fed to the bees to help them make honey to help them make it, it it's just it's a you know it's the recycle circle of life type thing <laughs> going on and it's really kind of a neat thought um then you have uh all the other resorts have something special about going on i want to say and some of them are even you know do some other things with gingerbread some of them do with chocolate i want to say the it's one of the either the boardwalk or the beach club or one of those has a carousel made out of chocolate um Kind of a Christmas themed, and each one has has all these wonderful things going on. Um, one of my favorites is Fort Wilderness, uh, the campgrounds. Um, the 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 visitors that stay there uh, decorate their own, um, whether it's their RV or the cabin that they're staying at, and. and put lights on and uh, it's it's kind of a little winter wonderland um without the snow um and if you're looking for snow um in the warm weather <laughs> if you're looking for snow at Walt Disney World um Hollywood Studios does dirt even during the day I'm, and I want to say the Magic Kingdom does it too sometimes especially when you get closer to Christmas. They do it for the Christmas party, but they have what is called snope, and it is uh, um, 
looks like snow coming down and what it really is is just a thing of snow uh soap excuse me that's why they call it snoop sometimes um uh got caught up in it <laughs> in it this past year in uh hollywood studios uh with my son and <laughs> stuff so i was going like uh it's and, and it was a bright sunny day which is really cool <laughs> so i'm coming in and i'm going wait a minute it's snowing <laughs> it wasn't snow i knew it wasn't snow because I was sweating. No, actually, it wasn't. And um, now, that's another thing. The weather during this time in um, Florida is probably some of the nicest, um, especially for us um, people who are sweating their tails off right now during this time. It can get a little cool at night. Um, and actually, ironically, it got a little cool in the morning. Um, this past year, I, I, I remember I, uh, my family came down right after, kind of right after Thanksgiving, um, my daughter and my youngest and, um, my wife right at, well, it wasn't right after Thanksgiving, it was right after, um, the first weekend of December and I still had to stay, stick around until school let out until after for for Christmas break and then I drove down and when I got there um I'm glad I had had my sweatshirts <laughs> it got pretty cold in the morning got down to the 30s um a couple of days and I think Christmas day I got it down to the 30s stuff and by the time my son and I went to actually to Walt Disney World on a, it was the twenty seventh. Um, it was it was still fairly cool. Um, I, I definitely was wearing jeans into the parks, um, which is unheard of for me. I usually I always wear shorts in the parks, um, and I've been there in December before, and I've been there in uh, definitely November before, and in February and stuff. And it never had, to my knowledge, gotten that cold. Um, course you had all the old timers going yeah i remember actually oh my gosh no i don't think that was really the case um i think they're forgetting that they came from new york and they saw snow i don't know but back to um what i'm getting at sometimes so you have to kind of be prepared for um little things now can you buy a sweatshirt at walt disney world yes you can and they will gladly sell it to you However, it's nice to have your own, um, and if you want to get the sweatshirt later on, then you can. But it's nice to have your own um, because it doesn't cost nearly as much. Okay, now that leads us to cost. Um, most of the stuff that you can do, minus the very merry Christmas party or the um, not so scary Halloween party is included in the cost of your vacation, whether it's your tickets or whatever. Um, those two are what we call hard ticket items, and um, they um, cost extra. Now, visiting you know, the resorts, um, going to the festival of the holidays, um, whatever other than that is not going to cost you any extra now um some of the you know there might be an up charge because of the time of the year but that's just that's just the way it is and then that comes to the cost of kind of resorts and tickets they go up in price based on the demand for the that particular ticket um December 25th, um, it's going to cost more to go to the Magic Kingdom than it does on December 5th. Simple as that. Same way with resorts. You're going to pay more per night around December 25th. And actually, I found this out recently. It's more expensive 
around January 1st, around around New Year, well, probably December 31st. It's probably a little bit more expensive because, um, uh, but it's still more expensive than a normal day, uh, any normal day on Christmas Day. Um, I want to say a normal room at the Contemporary, which is, which is outside of the Magic Kingdom, is on a on a normal on a normal I shouldn't say normal day, but the, the standard rate is around seven hundred and fifty per night. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't get it for cheaper, and doesn't mean you can't get it for more. Uh, it just depends on the time. But let's go with like seven fifty. Um, around Christmas, you're talking eight fifty. Um. But at on December thirty first, you're talking about nine fifty, almost a thousand per night, um, just because of the demand being that high. Um, a lot of people like the contemporary because they can watch the fireworks from the other, from from their room or whatever, and so, and even those rooms would be more than the rooms on the other side of the building. Um, so it's just. That's just the way it goes, and that's the way it goes with there everywhere you go. Um, I don't care if you're you're booking uh, Universal. I don't care whether you're a, a, you know a hotel at Universal Orlando, or you're booking a hotel at Walt Disney World, or uh, uh, a hotel near Six Flags or <laughs> whatever. If they, if there's something special going on, um, it's going to cost more during that time. Um, so it, that's just the way it is. Um, however, um, there are people like me, uh, who can help you book those trips and look for ways to save during those trips. Um, and my name is Peter Ekstrom at, uh, let Pete plan at gmail.com um, let Pete plan is all one word all lowercase and I am an uh, agent for boardwalk travel agency and I'm looking forward to helping you plan a holiday extravaganza at Walt Disney World Universal Orlando or uh, and or Universal Orlando and Universal Orlando. I always want to say University Orlando. I don't know why. Um, I know it's Universal. Um, I know they have the Minions. <laughs> I know they have Harry Potter, which is pretty cool, by the way, um, if you've never been there. Um, but uh, if you want to plan that trip, um, I'm always available. You can reach me on my Facebook page, Let Pete Plan at G. Oh, well, Let Pete Plan is my uh, Facebook page, and then I also have a P.F. Direction, um regular Facebook page that you can contact me or message me at, and just in 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 the message say, Disney Vacation, uh, plan, plan a Disney Vacation with you, or whatever, you know, just, just make it known to me, and then we can, I can contact you that way. Uh, or you can look me up on my Instagram at Let Pete Plan. Simple as that. Other than that, uh, hope you all have a magical time. And uh, think about the halfway till Christmas, even though it's not really halfway. Halfway is more towards the end of June. Um, I don't know why Disney's doing it now compared to now. Maybe maybe they have something really great plan for Father's Day next week. I don't know. Have a wonderful, magical day. And I may, wait, maybe I'll see you in the parks. Bye-bye.